Hi everyone, today will be lock installation day. We got this lock, it looks pretty heavy duty, so hopefully we'll keep our stuff inside the bus safe. I know we know that if someone wants to break in, they're gonna break in anyway. But uh, we decided to go with this, so this is gonna be in the outside, and then we're gonna have some kind of latch to be able to lock it from the inside. All right, so let's go and install this thing. Alright, so I got my marks down where the holes needs to go. All I have to do right now is to drill the holes. First hole down, five more to go. Let's see if this is gonna fit. Like a glove. For this step, I placed the lock on the door, making sure the lock was placed in the correct position. Then I proceeded to mark the center of each hole. All right, it's done. Now let's install the lock. All right, so now I'm gonna have to cut a little bit of this uh, rubber seal right here, because it's kind of in the way for the door to close. Hopefully nothing will leak inside. As many of you may know, when building a schoolie, oftentimes things don't go as planned, and then you have to make adjustments as you go. In this case for us, we had to cut a small piece of the door seal that was hitting the left hasp. This was the only way that we could get the door to close completely. All right, that's done. Now let's see if it locks. There we go. Everything is done from the outside. Now for the interior, I'm gonna use these pieces of wood to put them right here. One piece is gonna go right here. The other piece is gonna go right here. So that later I can uh, put a handle right here to pull the door inside and there's gonna be a latch in between these two pieces so the bolts will go through this two pieces and then a latch will go and lock it from the inside the easiest and fastest way to attach the pieces of wood to the door was to use a clamp to hold the wood in place then i drill from the outside through the holes i just drilled in the door to make the holes in the wood this way, the holes in the door and the wood all match up. The next step was to tighten all the nuts and bolts before installing the door handle and the latch. All right, so that's installed. Let's see how it closes. Unfortunately, when I did the installation of the, the handle and the latch, I didn't get footage of that, but this step is very straightforward. All you have to do is place your door handle in the position that you want it. I decided to have it straight, but you can have it any angle you want. And the latch, all you have to make sure is to uh, make your the mark for the holes when the door is closed to make sure that uh, the flap will go into this piece. Now, there's so many different kind of latches out there, and we decided to go with this one because it has this piece right here that can be turned and that will lock the door that means that you don't need a padlock to keep the door locked from the inside so once the flap goes in it you twist it and the door is locked there's other kinds of latches that this piece right here uh won't turn it's fixed in place so just by having the latch like this the door won't lock you'll have to put a padlock to keep the door locked and with this one, you don't need that. Just twist this thing, and then the door is locked. It won't open. If it didn't have that, then you could easily open the door. Now, to secure this door, what I'm going to do is I'm going to drill a hole right here that is also going to go through the handle. When that's done, I'll be able to clip it with this 
That way this door will be able to be opened from the outside unless this is uh, unclipped. Now the door is clipped and cannot be opened from the outside. Yeah, the door is locked. It can only be opened when this is not on. Hey guys, make sure you check out the step-by-step -step tutorial that goes with this video. It walks you through the process and also includes links to all the tools and materials shown in the video. The link is in the description. If you have any questions, drop us a comment below. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any of our conversion tutorials.